Hello and welcome back High Fleet Typhon lovers. Sorry for the delay in getting this video out. I did have to go on holiday over the last three weeks, but I'm now back and ready to get back into painting. And up today we have the big one, and it's the High Fleet Typhon Norn Emissary. So let's get into it. If you're interested in painting this colour scheme yourself, and you're looking for a more in-depth video tutorial, then please check out my High Fleet Typhon Death Leaper video linked in the description below, which has a little bit more detail on how I carried out each of the steps in the process. So as usual, we're going to base coat the model in black, and then we're going to apply a very heavy dry brush of Vallejo Stonewall Grey, but of course any light grey would do here as well. And again, this is going to be a very heavy dry brush. Just make sure that you hit every area of the model, leaving all the recesses in black. Next, we're going to be painting up all of the armor plates on the model. And to do that, we're going to be using Citadel Contrast Paint Black Templar. And we're just going to be using this straight up out of the bottle and one coat of this should do. And now that we applied a base coat to all of the armour, we're going to start to highlight it up. And the first highlight layer is going to be a heavy dry brush of Citadel the Fang. And we want to hit all of the raised areas and all of the edges on all of the armour pieces on the model. Next up is the final armour highlight and we're going to be using Citadel Fenrisian Grey and this time we're going to be applying a much lighter dry brush and only trying to hit the very top areas of the model. Next, we're going to go back to our original light grey colour and we're going to touch up any of the parts of the model that we mistakenly painted in the previous step. This will be mostly where any of the armour touches any of the flesh of the model and we just want to clean the model up and get it ready for the next step. Now on to feathering all the limbs and tentacles, and to do this we're going to use Citadel Contrast Paint Space Wolves Grey. And as I said, we're going to want to do this to all of the arms, all of the legs, the tail, and all of the tentacles on the back of the model. 
and we're going to be using our feathering technique here. So make sure you have your feathering brush ready and start by applying paint to the top part of the limb all the way down to about halfway or to the first joint and then switch to your feathering brush and feather it into the lighter grey colour. And once that's dried, apply another coat following the exact same technique. We're then going to apply the very same Citadel Contrast Paint Space Wolves Grey to all of the bones on the neck and the chest of the model. And once that's dry, we're going to make up a mix of Nagroth Knight with Space Wolves Grey and mix that in with equal parts water and apply another coat to all of the bones on the chest and the neck. We're now going to paint up all of the claws, horns and hooves on the model and we're going to do that by using Citadel Contrast Paint Volupis Pink. And once that's fully dried we're then going to start the highlights and we're going to do this with Vallejo Squid Pink but any light pink would do here and all we're doing here is trying to hit all of the edges on the pink areas that we've just painted. Next we're going to shade all of the pink areas and to do this we're going to use a thin down mix of Citadel Shade Caraborg Crimson and we're going to mix this 50-50 with water and we just need to apply a thin coat to all of the pink areas. Next up, we're going to use Vallejo Express Mystic Blue to paint in all of the brain. This is a really nice vibrant blue colour, so if you haven't tried it before, I do suggest that you give it a try, as it does a lot of the work here in painting in the brain of the model. We're now going to apply some highlights and shade to the brain and we're first of all going to do that by applying a very light dry brush of Citadel Fenrisian Grey. We're then going to follow that up with a very thin down wash mix 50-50 with water with Drakenhof Nightshade. This is going to give us some really nice depth and also give us a really nice translucent looking brain.
Next up, we're going to highlight all of the bones and we're going to do that with Army Painter Oozing Purple. And we're just going to give it a light dry brush over the top of all of the boned areas on the model. I then applied another highlight layer to all of the hooves, claws and horns using the same Vallejo Squid Pink just to make them pop a little bit more. I then did a touch up of all of the flesh parts of the model using the same Stonewall Grey just to take away any misplaced brush strokes that we did in the previous steps. And the final step is to paint in the eyes using the same mystic blue that we used on the brain. Just be careful not to get any on the skin, but if you do, you can always use your light grey to do any touch-ups. And after that, all you need to do is paint up a quick base and apply a coat of matte varnish to the entire model and you're done. I hope you found this video useful and if you do have any questions on any of the paints I used or any of the techniques in this video then feel free to drop a comment in the comments section below. I've still got a few more models to paint in my High Fleet Typhon army before we move on to something different. But for now, happy painting and I'll see you in the next one.